Sunday evening. I'm in the UK and it is cold and just generally UK-ish. Everyone should be in their pyjamas. <laughs> I want the video to be a nice little catch up between friends over a nice hot cup of tea. As a lot of you know, uh, if you've come from my Snapchat or my Facebook, I want to try and kickstart my YouTube again and to start that off, what I've said that I want to do is a get to know me Q&A. I did not expect so many people to give me questions, I'm so flattered that a lot of you have got involved and have asked me questions, so thank you to everyone that's asked questions, I think I've got all of them saved, so uh, look out for your name if you ask a question because it will appear. I want to start off with the biggest requested one, which was why did I start making videos? This is actually a really uh, complex answer, but I think it's important that you guys know, so you know the sort of story behind it. I've just finished my college life, my, my A-level life, and the two years that I was doing sixth form, I found it really difficult to, to feel motivated and happy almost. I found it really hard. Everyone seemed to know what they wanted to do in terms of going to uni, and I was one of the only ones in lower sixth especially that was just like, I don't want to go. And then throughout upper sixth, so my last year of exams, the last six months of the time, I was in a really bad headspace in terms of work and school and getting up in the mornings and doing my work to the best that I could. I found it really difficult. And in about May last year, I was introduced to video making. So you actually have my boyfriend, Harry, to thank slash curse <laughs> for seeing me constantly on your news feed. He was like, why don't you give yourself a direction and do something you enjoy and care about. And at that time, school was not what I cared about. I didn't care about learning. I didn't care about lessons. Just wanted to get it over with. Every day when I came home from school, I started making videos. I'd just sit in my room and just focus on being artistic and creative and just letting my mind flow. And then from then on, I was getting such nice feedback and it was such a nice feeling to have. And I think if you can make one person happy, then you've done something right. <laughs> The next question is, what do I do uh, or study? So, like I said, I've just finished my exams and my college and things like that. I now work in a bar just up the road. I did do bar and waitress work, but it didn't really work out because I wanted to spend more time doing videos. At the times that I was working, it meant that I couldn't focus on it as well as I wanted to. So now I just keep their social media going. So I post on their Facebook, their Instagram, their Twitter, all of that sort of stuff. So, although I have a job, is very much part-time in comparison to my video making, which I consider full-time because it's what I do with my days, like all day, every day. The next question, um, how long did it take for me to get good at makeup? I wouldn't say that I'm good at makeup purely because there's a lot of people out there that are much better at makeup than I am. I practice daily doing makeup videos. If you watch the videos that I made in the beginning, <laughs> they're very much, <laughs> I would class them as unwatchable. <laughs> in semi-answer to that question. Uh, I'd say the last four or five months is when it has improved, but over the last, it's been like two years where I've taken makeup seriously. So I guess that kind of answers your question. <laughs> the next question made me laugh. I feel like they're two extremely unrelated things, yet the two most important things in a woman's life. What's my favorite food and concealer? <laughs> my favorite concealer, I have a selection. Let me get it for you. <laughs> so. This is the one that I use for my uh, blemishes and spots and things like that, but it's literally just a drugstore product. don't know what it is. Maybelline? Anyway, it just does the trick. Like It's got loads of different shades, and I find this one is like the exact shade. A high-end concealer is this MAC Pro Longwear, and it's a bit lighter than my skin tone, so I use it for the highlighting part. And this one is a really good coverage. I've been told that it lasts 12 hours, but I'm yet to have it on for 12 hours at a time. So yeah, if you're looking for something a bit more expensive, I would recommend the MAC Pro Longwear, but equally as good, if not slightly better at covering actual blemishes, is this little one. My favorite food is Indian, by far. I love a good Indian takeaway. If someone said to me on a Tuesday morning, do you wanna just go grab an Indian takeaway? I'd be like, Absolutely. The next question is, what's your favourite colour? My favourite colour is green. I love it. It's my favourite. That's why my hair went green, but that was an accident. <laughs> Let me show you my favourite green thing. How cute is he? 
So this is Humphrey, he's hilarious. The next question is, have I gone to makeup school or will I go to makeup school? I've said previously, I've never gone to makeup school. I've never done lessons or courses or anything like that. I did question whether to go to makeup school or go on a course, but they're so expensive. And also I quite like the idea of being self-taught. It means that anything I can do, you guys can do because I've taught myself it, so if I can do it, you guys can also do it. The next question is, where do I live and do I like living there? So I live just outside of London in Surrey. Um, it is really nice, it is a really nice area. I live in just like a small village, and yeah, I do like it. I've grown up here, so I've lived in the same house since I was born. So yeah, it is it's an amazing place, I love it. But do I like living here? I like it, but I'm ready for the next place to live. I really, really want to move to London, especially Southwark. I love it, I think it's my favourite place. Surrey is the sort of place that I'll come back when I'm settling down and having little, little babies. The next question is, do I prefer evening makeup or everyday makeup? That's a really hard question. I think I prefer evening makeup. Because I've got such dark features, it means that I can make my makeup really dark. So I prefer evening makeup because I think you can go a bit all out with it and everyone will just accept it because it's the evening. The next question is who's the most inspiring makeup artist to me? I think there's quite a few but they're all mainly like Instagram people because that's where I see the makeup artists the most. I'd say that my favourite person is my pale skin blog. I think she's really, really talented. She's just a genuine person. The next question is what's the most adventurous makeup I've ever done? I, I wouldn't <laughs> I'm overly adventurous. I think having started the videos it's made me explore a lot more aspects of makeup. I think the most adventurous actually is my anxiety video I did the other day. I think that was the most adventurous because I'd never done body painting. Another one I think would be the fortune teller I've done. I found it really complex to do and there were so many different aspects to it. I think those two as a little, as a little duo are my most adventurous ones. The next question is, what's the first makeup product you've ever bought? <laughs> so the first makeup I ever had, when I was about probably eight years old, I was in the village with my mum. She was in one shop and I went to the post office and saw a magazine with a little mascara and cold pencil. And at that age, naturally, my mum was against me wearing makeup. I was too young, it would be too much. But I turned to my mum while she wasn't looking and was like, can I get a magazine? It looks really good. And she was like, yeah, sure. And then I was wearing cold pencil and mascara at the age of eight. So, uh, sorry, mum. But the first makeup product I actually bought was Barry M. One of those bright eyeshadows. I was really, really into bright blue eyeshadow with a really thick liner, like semi-wing. Actually, I can, I'll show you. This was the kind of thing I'd be buying. It was Poptastic Eye Palette Collection 2000. The blues, pinks, all of those things. This was my favourite one, the bright blue. The next question is, am I into art? Yes, it is my favourite. It was always my favourite subject at school. I loved it. My GCSEs and A level was in art. That helped me a lot with my makeup videos because I understand a lot of techniques and a lot of colours and things like that. The next question is, what makeup can I not live without? I mean, does all of it count as an answer? The next question, what's the most expensive makeup I own? None of my makeup is particularly overpriced. A lot of the times people have crazy expensive things like 80 pound foundation. I don't have anything completely out there. Probably the most expensive makeup. It's not really makeup, but I think this can count under the bracket. I treated myself to a new set of Zoeva brushes and they are literally my life. They were 200 pounds, which was so sad to see go, but uh, it was so worth it. So that's probably the most expensive thing makeup related that I own. The next question is why did I dye my hair? All of my friends and people that I knew and everyone my age seemed to be having this new adventure of going to uni. I didn't really have anything going on. I was, I was bored of what was going on and I was bored of school and I wanted a change the way that everyone else was having a change and if I couldn't have a change by going to uni then uh, naturally I decided to dye my hair. But the next thing I was asked, which is a really good question, what are my goals for 2017? I, I thought I had an answer to this but I don't really. I think my goals for 2017 in terms of my online profiles is just to grow a bit more if I can inspire other people or make more people happy with my videos, um, that would be the goal. The goal would be to actually get better at makeup. Because <laughs> I'm not the best at it, like I will openly admit if I could learn more that would be great and that probably would just consist of me laying in bed watching uh, YouTube tutorials. <laughs> the next question is who's my hairdresser? My hairdresser is Alex from Angels at the top of my road. Uh, he is so good at dyeing my hair. So he's 
my favourite person for giving me hair confidence. The next question is how do I, how do you choose the right foundation? <laughs> I think you just sort of, uh, you match it to your skin colour. If you're doing it at like a drugstore, I usually get the back of my hand and just put a blob on, wait a little bit and check the colour because they'll oxidise. So once I oxidise that means it'll go slightly orange. That tends to happen for me because of my skin pigment and I think it's probably different for a lot of people. In terms of skin type, I think it just depends. Everyone's skin type is so different but that's just a trial and error through different makeup brands. One of the main things that I put down is uh, I put primer on first which I feel like is like a layer between your skin and makeup and I feel like it's just that extra bit of security. Speaking of skin safety, <laughs> next question is what's my daily skincare routine? So I've recently been introduced to a company called Neil's Yard and I cannot sing their praises higher. I think it's the best thing. I always found that I was bouncing between so many different products, like chemical products, to try and help my skin, but nothing ever worked. But then I started listening to a consultant from Neil's Yard who just sort of told me how delicate and sensitive your skin can be and how we should actually look after our skin. And I never used to really think about it. She told me about how organic Neil Jard is and how it's all natural and things like that and if your skin's natural it should be using natural products and I found I now believe that skincare should be completely organic materials being put onto your skin because it's so sensitive and it's so delicate. The next question is what do I find is the hardest part of makeup? I find contouring very difficult. I am not blessed with uh, facial structure. So when I'm doing it on camera and I'm in front of my lights the contouring I feel like I've got so much product on but then I turn around and it looks like I've got nothing on my face. The next question is, do I have any pets? I have two kitties and they come into my videos more often than not. I love them, but they hate me. And also, I'm so allergic to them. <laughs> One day you can see a photo of my allergy face because it's so horrific. The next question is, do I have any hobbies? My number one hobby is to run up the stairs whilst I'm holding my boobs. The next question is, what's my least favourite makeup trends? I did see one actually the other day, which was makeup using only food products. Um, that was probably my least favourite, although I was highly entertained. But the rest of the trends I thoroughly enjoy, so to those video makers that make the video trends, keep doing your thing because I love it. The next question is the worst compliment. I think a compliment is never a bad thing, so I've never really had a worse compliment. The weirdest compliment, <laughs> me and my brother got my dad this present a few years ago, which was cufflinks, but of our finger, our thumbprints or fingerprints or one of them. And the lady who was doing it um, took my fingerprint and turned around to me and just said, you've got a really nice fingerprint. I was just like, I'll take it, thanks. <laughs> The next one is my most favourite makeup products. I cannot get enough of Morph eyeshadow palettes. I think they're the best things. The only thing that just makes me want to cry is the fact that they're from America, so the shipping is so horrible. I was asked to share some information about my family or tell me something about my family. My mum is probably the most involved with all my videos. Behind the scenes, she's like sitting in watching them sometimes. So my mum is actually a big a big driver behind my videos. Um, my brother, uh, my brother's called James and when I was younger my nickname for him was Goa and we have no idea why. And my dad, my dad is just my dad and if you know him you'll understand that there are just no words to describe him. <laughs> that is it for my get to know me Q&A. Thank you so much again for everyone that has asked me all their questions. I hope I've answered them well let me know if you liked this video give it a thumbs up if you did make sure you subscribe for more videos i'll be trying to post weekly so let me know also if there's anything in particular you'd like to see i'm really excited so thanks for watching see you next week i guess <laughs>